Welcome to the Sanders Kitchen. We have a great recipe for you today. One of my favorites, chicken parmesan. So let me show you what's in our chicken parmesan. Of course we have the star of the show, some chicken breast. We have some egg wash, that's one egg, some Italian breadcrumbs, we're gonna season with some salt and pepper. We have mozzarella cheese, some Parmesan cheese, of course, and we're gonna use a little flour. I'll show you how to do that early, uh, later. And we'll put it all together right in front of you. It's really quick and easy. So come on, let's get it going. Okay, the first thing we need to do is trim this chicken breast. They always give you a bunch of extra stuff to trim off the chicken breast. So there's a bunch of little fatty pieces we don't need. Some, some skin. This little portion right here, kind of got a little hard piece on it. And then we have the breast, the tenderloin, and that's all we really need. And now we're just going to put our knife as flat as we can and just cut through with your hand on. And you're not gonna cut your hand, and that's about it. Just cut it right in half. But we do need to pound it flat. And the reason is, is you don't want to cook a big, giant, thick piece on one end and then a nice little thin, thin piece on the other end. So we're gonna try to even that out. So now the chicken looks nice and flat and even, and we'll just season it and keep it going. All right, a little salt and pepper. All right, so I took one egg and I whipped it up in this pan with maybe a tablespoon of milk. We have our Italian breadcrumbs. Our chicken is seasoned. So the first thing I wanna do so I'm going to sprinkle on a light coating of flour. The flour is actually going to help the egg to stick to the chicken. All right, so before we actually finish up with seasoning, breading the chicken, let's go ahead and throw a little butter in the skillet and a little olive oil, and let's let that melt down and, and get ready to brown up the chicken, okay? Because we do need to get this hot. Okay, so now we'll just take our chicken breast, go into the egg wash, take that out, go right into the seasoned breadcrumbs. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure I have a lot of breadcrumb on there. I'm going to set it down right here just for a second. And let me go ahead and get this other one done. All right. Let me clean up my hands, and we'll start browning them up. All right. Well, looks like the, the oil is hot, ready to go. So we'll go ahead and slide our chicken right in. There we go. Turn our heat up. And we're just going to wait a couple of minutes until we get a nice brown crust on the bottom. And then we'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing to the other side. So give us a couple of minutes and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, that, that chicken's looking good. Let's go ahead and flip it over to the other side. Look how brown and pretty that is. And we'll just give it another minute or two and... We'll make the Parmesan come to life. Wow, the chicken is looking great. Smells good, too. Now, let's see if we can get it out of here in one piece. Look at how beautiful that is. And let me tell you, it smells good, too. So now, 
what we're going to do is add some good homemade marinara sauce. To the top. Yeah, we'll add it to the top of each piece. Go on with a little Parmesan. <laughs> Maybe a lot of Parmesan. How's that? Woo, look at that. Man, that looks beautiful. And then some mozzarella. And we're going to put this in the oven on broil. And we're just going to let that mozzarella melt down. Pam already made some angel hair pasta. Has that all ready to go. And we'll plate it up in just a couple of minutes. Well, the chicken Parmesan is out of the oven. Actually, we broiled it. I just wanted to let you know. And that's how we got that beautiful little brown look to the cheese. So it's time to plate it up and grab a bite. Woohoo! Look at all that pasta. But I love my pasta. Some nice hot marinara sauce on top and this by the way is roasted red pepper marinara sauce mm, look at that mm. wow and a little extra parmesan cheese on top, woo, love it. Well, this chicken Parmesan was easy to make and it's time to dig in because I can smell it, it's driving me crazy, I love it. I wish you were here to try it with me. This is truly amazing. I love chicken Parmesan. So I hope you guys have a chance to make this. It's really simple and easy. Just follow the video that we just made. Can't go wrong. Simple instructions. Well, we hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't and hit the notification bell so you'll know as soon as we come out with our new videos. And please share our videos with your friends and your family. That's really important. So we hope you have a great Easter weekend. Pam and I are gonna be busy with our family. Uh, crawfish boils and all that, you know, down south, that's what we do. But anyway, have a great weekend and God bless you.